to my good friends at VIPTradersInc.com yet, let me give you a reason as to why you should. They sent out a buy alert today, ticker symbol EYES, Second Sight Medical, when they were at $2.83 a share. They surged today, going up over 500%. The top of the mountain for them was $9.80. My friends over at VIP Traders Inc. sent out that buy alert at $2.83. If you decided to make a move, you made a lot of money today. So congratulations to them on a great call. Um, as usual, they're going to be running a promotion this weekend for their crypto subscription using code TOMMY35, T-O-M-M-Y 35. You're going to get 35% off of that package. They use logic. They use knowledge. They don't just talk out of there. You know what? There's actually reasoning behind their picks, and they tell you why. Give them a look into the crypto market. I might. I'm not into crypto. I'm not into Bitcoin or Dogecoin or any of that stuff, but I might. They're offering me 35% off. Maybe I'll sign up. www.viptradersinc.com. Promotion code Tommy35. Check them out. All right. Let's get right into it. I told you. I've been telling you. I was worried about the OPEC meeting. Some of you were worried about the OPEC meeting. A lot of us. Maybe not him. I was. It went well. It went really well. They decided to extend those cuts into April. You heard it. Into April. And what happened when they decided that and the news broke out? WTI crude oil went up, up, and away. Closing out today at $66 a barrel. Oil is up. It's up big. I think it's going to $100 a barrel by the end of the summer. Keep your eye on it. I don't know if they're going to extend the cuts through May, but I don't know. That's a while away. We still got the whole month of March to get through in April, and we'll see what happens. Gold was down this week. I was very surprised by that. Gold has been down. Now, with the U.S. Treasury yield just, just keep going up, interest rates are eventually going to go up. The Fed, as I've told you before, cannot keep doing this. They have to address this at some point in time, and when they do, it's going to be a shock to the market. you got to buy your gold now while you have the chance. This is a great opportunity to buy it. Gold went down under $1,700 for a one ounce bar today. I'm not talking about buying a gold ETF either. I'm talking about buying actual physical gold that you can have in your possession. You put it in your safe, you put it in your car, you give it to me, you do whatever you want. But it's a great hedge against the oncoming inflation. So look into it, as I've been saying. I think it's a great investment idea. I think it's great for your portfolio. I mean, diversification is what we're talking about here. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, right? Maybe you invest into an S&P 500 index fund. Maybe you have a 401k at work. Maybe a 457. Maybe you have cash in a bank. Maybe you have stocks. Maybe you have bonds. Maybe you have gold. Whatever it may be, you got to diversify. Who knows what's going to happen in this roller coaster of a market that we see on a daily basis? I'm going to talk about that more in another video. But I'm going to give you my big winner of the week. I'm sure you could read my mind. What's it going to be? What's Tommy's big winner this week? It's none other than CPE, Callum Petroleum. I've gotten probably a dozen text messages and phone calls about it this week. They are up this week alone $12 a share. Okay? Listen, there's still plenty of room. I personally believe that it's not going to even slow down until it hits $50 a share, okay? Maybe, maybe by the end of the summer, $65, $70 a share, there's plenty of room to get in. Closed out at $38 a share today. Keep your eye on it, all right? Energy is the play. People are moving out of big tech. Look at Tesla. Look what happened to Tesla this week. They're getting killed. All big tech, Apple, Amazon, I'm telling you, the stocks that people were comfortable with during the quarantine, they are no longer comfortable with. Texas is wide open. Mississippi is wide open. Connecticut lifted restrictions. It's starting to happen, okay? Life is starting to get back to normal. People don't need to be into these quarantine stocks. Um, that's just my opinion. As I told you, I don't give out financial information. I don't give out financial recommendations. I give you my opinion and you do what you want with it. Now listen, here's what I want to do. I want to do something a little bit different today. At the end of this video, after you're done hitting the like button, the subscribe, and the share button, 
Talk to me in the comments. What do you guys think I should talk about next week on Monday? What do you want to hear about? Maybe I'll put out a video this weekend for you. I don't know. It depends. Tell me what you want to hear about. Keep it in mind. Don't forget my friends at VIPTradersInc.com. Above all else, enjoy your dinner. Salud. Have a great weekend. Talk to me in the comments. I'll see you Monday.